Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to draw figures. And so um, what we're going to use is uh, a combination of learning proportions. So the distance from the shoulder to the elbow is the same distance from the elbow to the wrist, about. Unless you have foreshortening, which we have here, which will change that distance um, in how we see it. So this distance here won't be here. So when we look at this, then we have to observe um, positions, you know, relationships. And so we want to look at proportions and relationships when we deal with a figure. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw a line down the center and across, and that'll help me position some of the parts of the figure. So if I draw a line down and one across, and I'm going to do this very lightly. So I'm, I'm figuring the line going across will be about here, and I'll um, post the, the photo with the lines on it there. And then another line just coming alongside the face here, which is about halfway. And so I want to just determine how high above the center line is the face. So it's about one, just a little more than one and a quarter heads high. So if I look at, make a head here, about a head high. So I'm going to make it about a head high. So the head is going to be somewhere in here. And I'm just making very light marks because I want these to disappear later. And then, um, you know, so that's about where the head's going to go. So that tells me, so if I draw a line here, right about here, I know that this elbow is going to be somewhere on the line or just below the line. And I'm thinking it's going to be just below the line here. The shoulder is in relationship to the head, right below the side of the head here. So if this head is here, then the shoulder is going to be here. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of draw out where that shoulder is going to go. The back, okay, how far over is the back? Ooh, it's about a good head width back here. Now the hair is going to be bigger too, so I'm just going to add that in there. Okay, so if the hair is that big, uh, okay, let's do the face. We'll do the face. The distance on the face to the back is about here. So about a face width away will determine where that back is going to go. Um, so if I draw a line down the center, I know this knee it's going to be just off center and it's going to be how far above center well I can measure someplace on the face I can measure from like the eye to the chin that's about the same height so if I have so if this is the eye line so it's halfway right to the chin Oops, maybe I'll make my center line up here. That's probably a little better. Okay, eye to the chin. Yep. So I'm thinking the knee is somewhere right here. And then I know this knee, if I make the center line here, is going to be just off from this knee. So I'm just marking where these joints are. The shoulder is somewhere here, right? Now this shoulder is higher than this shoulder. Do you see the tilt here? Ah, so we need to notice the tilt to help create that feeling of motion. So let's make that higher. So we're going to make the shoulder somewhere here. So this shoulder is going to be a little bit higher. 
Okay, so we have the knee, shoulders. Oh, what's this? Oh, this was the, the inside elbow right here. We have that. So if we know the distance from here to here, we should know the distance from here to here. Ooh, yeah, it works out. So the distance from right here to here, from the, sh from the elbow to the shoulder, is the same distance from the wrist to the elbow. So that gives me, so the wrist is gonna be down here. Okay, so that'll be the wrist. Now, I need to figure out where this elbow is gonna be. So if my center line is here, it's just gonna be below the center line. How far below? Well, I could use the face again. Mm, let's, from the eye to the chin, yeah, that's about the same. So from the eye to the chin is the same distance from the elbow. So eye to the chin, and that gets me right about where the elbow needs to be, somewhere in here. So if I know where this elbow is, I know where this wrist is going to be, somewhere in here, right? So I'm figuring out where the joints are. And that's the main thing you want to focus on is the joints in relationship to the head. So the head's your basic measurement um, of all these other parts and the relationship of where they land with the figure. So the head's the most important. Oh, we didn't do the feet. Okay, so this is the center line coming down right about here. This foot is going to be just off the center line, right? Somewhere in here. This foot, well, it's going to be way off to this corner here. So, so I'm thinking it's going to be way over here. So I'm just putting some marks where that, where I think that um, ankle is going to be. This ankle is eh, probably right in here, I'm guessing. So the leg comes down, and so I'm just trying to block out all these parts. And so then we have the hands, you know, which we can block out. Remember, hands are like mittens. So I'm just blocking out the hands. There's the one hand over the leg. Let's see, where's this leg going to go? So we want to figure out the contour lines of this leg going down to the ankle. So, uh, and if you don't get in the right spot, that's okay. Um, so we're thinking about all the contour lines now. You know, we kind of have a feeling for where that knee's going to go and where this elbow is is somewhere in here right the shirt going up to this shoulder that is hunched forward right so we're trying to look for all these different parts and we're looking at the contour lines how does that contour line come down Something like that. And she's got some creases in her shirt. You know, and I, I can add a little bit of detail, um, but I wouldn't add too much, you know. So we're just trying to get the proportions. So we have the distance from here to here, the tilt, the distance from here to here to here, right? So if this is the elbow, yep, that looks about right. And then we have, you well, know, the underside of the leg is all shadow in here. Oh, well, we have this other hand, but it's underneath this hand. So once we have all the parts, you know, we can, how many fingers? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay, shoot. We can look at all, all of these parts. There's some fingers hanging out here. I should block those out, right? 
So those are the figures hanging out. So whenever you do the hand, you're kind of just blocking things out, right? You're just trying to remember practicing doing hands. That's why we did doing hands. Um, and so I'm trying to get the figure. Oh, where's that butt? The butt is straight across from the top of that shoe from right here. So that's going to be in here, right? And then this back is coming down. Does that look right? Pretty close. We're getting really close. So we are figuring out where that shoe is going to go. And trying to decide, okay, how does that shoe look? It's got a little dipsy doodle here. So I'm just trying to draw the shapes I see to block out that shoe. Right? We got the little stylish thing happening here. So that's getting the block out of the figure. Now this is all I want you to be able to do. I want you to identify where the joints are going to go and where the figure is going to go. You don't have to do anything else. You know, if I were to put the center line of the face, I know the distance of the eye. It's going to be in here. You know, so the eyes are um, when you look when you're dealing with a full frontal. Eh, let's make that higher. And she's tilted a little bit, okay? So, okay, so the center line's gonna be tilted just a little. So we can put some of this detail in if you want to. You know, you can decide. Okay, so the distance of the eye from, from side to side is the same distance apart. Did I do that? Yep. So the distance from here to here is the same distance from here to here. That's how you figure out the eye. And and I probably could work on that a little better. You know. A little my charcoal's a little needs to be worn down a little more to get a nice line. And uh, so I can do the nose, where's the shadow? You know, where's the bottom of the nose? So I can do all this structure on the face to help make it look a little more believable. But you don't have to do that starting out. I want you just to know how to figure out where the joints are going to go. Okay. In relationship. Oops. We're going to make this the center line. We'll get rid of this one. I don't like this center line. It's too high. We'll get rid of that. So we'll call that center ish. Um, and then we can start adding shadows. You know, we can do the shorts, we can start doing, you know, some of the some of the stuff um, in the shirt here. You know, how how did those shadows go? And so we can start adding some of that stuff. We can start adding okay jaw is probably over here a little more when I look at it this jaw yeah that's getting closer to what she has so I could start adding shadows but that's a whole nother story so it's all about doing shadows highlight shapes trying to get that feeling of light coming across your subject and that's pretty much it for this video, is trying to get the proportions. So we, when we look at, um, say, this right here, this is a, <laughs> another drawing I did. So I could draw a center line this way, one going this way, and that would help me place the head. Um, once I get the head, I can, I can make measurements. Um, the, this knee is and the shoulder are right below each other. The distance from the knee to the ankle is the same distance from the knee to the hip. 
and it will also be the same distance from the ankle to the knee here. And then we can just start seeing some of the relationships. We know this elbow is across from the top of the head, so it's somewhere here. And then once we figured that out, then we can make measurements from the elbow to the wrist. And yep, those proportions should be the same because I don't have any foreshortening here. And then the rest of this is just relationships of shapes in the background. You know, trying to get that curve of the back, you know, and the tilt of the face. And, and that should, you guys all know how to do profile faces. You can do that in your sleep. And then, um, you know, the size of the foot is the same size as the face head, right? So the size of your foot is the size of your head. Don't forget that. That's one of those proportions. The size of your hand is the same size as your face. So people tend to make hands way too small. They tend to make feet way too small. Don't fall for that mistake. You always can do that in relationship to how big the head is to determine how big the foot needs to be. Look how big that foot is. Big as the head. Wow. Okay, so you want to look at relationships and measure. So you always want to check your measurements. You always want to check to make sure these proportions seem right, that you didn't get one part of the leg longer than the other. That, um, and, and then you can just maintain control of it. So that's what you need to do today. Just figuring out proportions, where to put, where to place the joints. If you can get the joints, these contour lines, now well, it's a little crooked here. These contour lines become easy. It's, it's just connecting the dots. You're just looking for, okay, how wide is that shoulder? It's down, oops, probably a little higher, right? And don't worry about erasing things. You know, this is just a preliminary drawing and okay, this wrist comes up more so now I'm gonna go back and adjust things I'm gonna double check measurements and I'm gonna adjust things like remember see the fit, foot now she's got a shoe on which is gonna make it bigger but the foot is as big as the head Woo! so her foot is that big right there good way to measure it. the hand now she's kind of gripping her hand like this so it's going to be a little bit smaller, but you still need to make it big enough to make it look believable. And then it's just a matter of going back in and working on those contour lines. Oh, I don't know if I like that contour line. And, and just start making the rest of this work. Um, this needs to be curved more. I got a little bit too angular. So I'm just making adjustments now. Or I move things. You know, if I get this hand in the wrong place, I get it over here a little bit too far, it's okay to move it. Leave the hand that's over here, not a big deal, because you can just you can create a background, cover it up. Don't have to erase it. You just move that hand or move a knee to get it in the right relationship to where the head's gonna go. Now, this nose is looking a little rough, you know, and sometimes it's the shadow. So I'm looking at the shadow. Now, to make that look a little more real. You know, there's a shadow underneath here. that face still too wide there yeah I think that helped that and so we'll talk about practicing drawing faces later but right now the big thing is measuring your proportions first you figure out how big you want that head and that'll determine how big the body's gonna be if I make this head a lot smaller, 
it's going to fit different on the paper, you know, so this body is going to be smaller. You know, the tendency is to run off the paper. If you do that, don't worry about it. You know, sometimes that happens. You lose control of it. But the way to control it is to determine how big that head is going to be. Now, a sitting person like this, their head's going to be larger. Somebody standing, let's see, do I have a standing one? Here's somebody standing, a picture of a standing head. This head, I know, has to be a lot smaller to get the whole standing figure in there. So that's, that's a lot smaller than that head. So I have to account for that ahead of time. I know that a standing figure is going to be a little bit harder because I need to make that head smaller and so I can't get as much detail in there. But still, I make my measurements. I determine if I make a halfway line here and one going across here, I know the hands are going to be below that halfway line, you know, and this head's going to be in this quadrant. And so I just have to figure out how I'm going to place that head, how many heads above that halfway line or across from the center line it's going to be. And that'll help me place all these figures. And then it's just a matter of working on your outside line contours to get the bone and muscle structure to make the head look right. So give this a try. Practice this. You can do this with anything. Go in a magazine and practice drawing um, people from a magazine. Or you can go to Pinterest. Uh, our Pinterest account has lots of these samples of these figures in there. And some of them we have the measurements made so you can see the relationship, where this elbow is going to be, where that shoulder is going to be, and you can try to figure out how that's going to fit on your paper. So have fun. This is the ultimate. If you can draw a figure, you can draw anything. So that's why we do figures, is it forces you to get good fast. If you get something wrong, yep, you know, your first few drawings aren't going to look good. I can guarantee that. Um, so it's just a matter of practice, you know. Uh, so have fun. Enjoy this.